guys, so today we're going to be working on these gradient nails or ombre nails. I use color changing gel polish to achieve this look. So on this side I have a pink that goes from pink to white and that's called cream soda. That's from Die Hard Nails. And then on this side I have a purple and it goes from a purple, a dark deep purple to a lighter purple which I'll show at the end of the video so you can see the color changing properties. So we're going to be working on how to do the actual ombre effect. For that you're going to need a couple things. So first you're going to need your polishes of choice and like I said I'm using Purple Rain and Cream Polish from Die Hard Nails. I'm also using their base coat and top coat because these are gel polishes. You will also need a UV or LED lamp. Today I'm using Die Hard Nails LED lamp. You will also need um, alcohol to clean up the dispersion layer at the end. And then you're also going to need a brush. Now I prefer these flat brushes and you'll see in the video I pick up polish on each side and then I use that to do the actual blend between colors. And then just to make that easier I'm also using a little lid. Anything plastic will work, I just happen to be using this lid. And you may also want to have a orange wood stick on hand to clean up any polish that gets on your skin while you're working on the ombre or gradient effect. And that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by cleaning the nail plate with rubbing alcohol. This is just 91% rubbing alcohol. This is just to ensure that there's no dust or oils on the nail plate after pushing back the cuticle and removing the shiny layer from the nails. First step is to go in with your base coat. I'm using Die Hard Nails. You want to make sure you coat the entire nail, including capping the free edge. Go ahead and put that in your LED or UV lamp. For the next step, I'm going to be using two colors. The colors I'm using today are Cream Soda and Purple Rain, and both of those are also from Die Hard Nails. I'm going to be painting one side of the nail in Purple Rain and the other side in Cream Soda. And I'm going to try not to touch them in the middle, but get it as close as possible. If you get anything on the nail or on the skin, you want to make sure you clean that up. Now going in with the second color. So you're going to go ahead and bring over your brush. I like to use these flat kind. And you're going to just take your polish directly onto a piece of plastic. And we're going to blend the line between the two colors. So how we're going to do that is we're going to pick up a little bit of each color. We're going to pick up each color on the corner of the brush so that it looks like that. And you want to make sure you get on both sides. And just go ahead and pre-mix it a little bit to prep the brush. And you're just going to follow that line right down the center, making sure not to mix the color so you want to make sure that your pink sides on pink and purples on purple and you're just going to run straight down that to start blending that. Now each layer we add is going to blend it a little bit more so it's okay if at this point it looks a little bit streaky. And go ahead and do that for all the nails and load the brush as needed. Okay and go ahead and put that in the light and cure so for the next step, we're just going to concentrate on building up that blend. So again, we're going to use the brush. And we're going to pick up some more of that purple and the pink. And because this is color changing polish, you can see it's already starting to change with the heat of the lamp. Go ahead and blend if you need to. And you're just going to paint right down that center to blur those lines. Okay, go ahead and put that back into the light. Now this time we're going to go in with the polish and we're going to redo the sides. Then you're going to go ahead and blend that center line again, picking up your purple and your pink. You want to make and you're just going to go ahead and blend that line for each nail before you put it into the light. Okay, once you're happy with that gradient, go ahead and pop that into the light. At this point you're going to go ahead and apply your top coat. I'm using Die Hard Nails top coat. Okay, go ahead and put that into the light. So once you've cured that, you just want to go in with your rubbing alcohol and remove that tacky layer. And 